Hello everyone and welcome to this Python tutorial series. In this particular tutorial, we will learn to generate HTML reports. So let's begin. As an automation tester, you might be asked to submit the test execution report so that the management can see what is happening with the automation testing. How many test cases are passed, how many are failed, and how many are skipped. So they need to understand the quality of the application. They want to know what is happening with the different releases, right? So when you need to submit a report the better option is to submit the html report now why we need to submit the html report because they are visually better in order to understand the test result secondly they are easy to share with your team members and finally it contains the detailed information including the pass fail and skip test so in order to generate the html report in the pi test what you need to do is that you need to use a plugin for that let me go to the browser over here and search for the PyTest plugins and simply click on PyTest plugin list over here and just search for HTML and here if you go down so this is PyTest dash HTML so this plugin is for generating the HTML reports okay just click on this one and it will take us to this page and this is how we can install this one. And if you go down, so you can you can see that we can get this kind of a screenshots or images to understand that. Okay, now if you here you see that we get the proper information. What is getting failed? How many test cases got executed? Where they got executed? Right. So let's go back over here and let's install this one. So simply, what you need to do is that pip install pytest dash html copy this one and just go to the pycharm over here into the terminal paste this command press enter so it will install the pytest html plugin in your project now what i need to do is that i will go here and create a simple file let me name it as html so what I will do here is that I will create some basic test and I'll show you that how this remote, uh, report will be generated. So what I'll do is that simply create a very basic test. I'll say test underscore add and I'll say for example result is equals to 2 plus 3 okay and i will say print then i'll say result is and here what i need to do is that i will pass the f string the variable result over here okay and now i will simply go with the assert and say result result is equals to 5 so in this case this test case will actually pass over here okay and in a similar way let me create one more test case over here and i will name it as subsection so instead okay let me go with 12 minus um minus minus 2 which is basically 10 okay the result is 10 over here and now let me create one more test just for the just to see the failures okay test underscore fail and here i will say 12 multiplied by 2 is basically 24 and here it should fail okay and what I will do is that let me write some details so that we can see more details in the report. So 2 plus 3 equals 2. Result is 12 minus 2 equals 2. And result is 12 multiplied by 2 equals 2. Now in order to run this one what we need to do is that we need to provide an HTML argument in the command line. So that's really simple. Uh, 
what you need to do is that you need to type by test and here we need to provide the file which we need to execute okay so the file i need to execute here is basically this html.py and then after that i need to provide dash dash html equals to report dot html and that's it and now just run this one and see what happens so right now you see that we don't have any html report over here so, so after executing this one you see that one test got failed to pass and here you see that this report.html generated and here we have the style this is a css file for the html one and here what i'll do is that in order to open this html report just right click on this one and you need to go here open in so you have multiple options you can open in the explorer you can open into the browser right so if you go here into the browser so you see that i have a built-in preview here as well you can open in, in the firefox edge okay so let me open in the built-in preview first so this this is how this uh, reports look like you see that uh, the python version the platform the packages i'm using okay and the summary here you see that i can filter this one okay this is the field one this is the error one and these are the past one if i click on the past one you see what got passed so this this is a very useful html report which you can share with the stakeholders and now in order to open into the browser uh, so simply go here again and open in the browser let's suppose i'm opening into firefox now this is open into the firefox so so this is how you can generate an html report using this pytest html plugin thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial